Hey, what's going on, guys? Archer and Mark here, back with another Star Wars action figure review. And uh, this is one of three reviews that will be coming up over the next uh, uh, week, 10 days, somewhere in there, uh, of figures that I have gotten from my recent uh, Hasbro haul. So, like I said, this is the first one, and now let's get started. Now, this is, as you can see, is Low Gray, the Ewok Medicine Man. And I've become fairly adept at reviewing these Ewoks lately because there have been a lot of Ewoks released over the past year. Uh, and you've seen a lot of those reviews uh, on my channel. Pl you know, please feel free to search my channel for Ewoks, Ewok reviews. And I'm sure they'll come up if you want to watch those other reviews. Uh, a little while back, uh, now I have a shed with like a shelving unit. I cleared out some space. And I decided I wanted to do an indoor display. It's the only place that I really have where I could do sort of a big display. It's like a whole big shelf. Uh, I don't have any big room like that in my big space like that available in my room right now. So I did this display. And with all the newer Ewoks and I used my uh, indoor bunker and uh, the... The, the latest uh, Scout Walker and Scout Walker 2-pack and all that stuff and a bunch of other figures and I made this big display. And uh, I had Low Gray in there, but it was the old Power of the Force 2 version. Um, and he just kind of stood out amongst all the other Ewoks, which were newer versions and better painted and sculpted and articulation and all that stuff. So it just, I felt that I should upgrade to the the Vintage Collection one. Now, it's kind of dark in there, so I didn't really film. Uh, I didn't make a video on that. I took a couple of pictures, and uh, those of you who know, there's Facebook, and Filmmaker Mike has his Facebook page, and people post pictures and whatnot and various things on there. And I took a couple of pictures of this in the indoor display and posted them on the Filmmaker Mike uh, Facebook page. That's the only thing that I take, the only images of that display. I've simply, I've changed it to something else now. Uh, so if you want to go on there and try and find those pictures, you know, feel free. It looks pretty cool, I think. But anyway, so I got this guy. You know, I wasn't super dying to get him. Like, I had to get him. I didn't want to spend crazy money. But I found him at a good price on Hasbro.com, as you may have seen in the haul video. Uh, so, it's a great figure. I'll show you. Here's the packaging. As usual with my reviews, here you got ages four and up, and you know, warning, choking hazard, all that kind of important stuff. It's kind of dull, but it's important. Uh, Star Wars Return of the Jedi logo, the character name there, Low Gray Ewok Medicine Man, and you'll see the image. Very neat image on the card back, kind of blue on the back with the name and where the character would be. Uh, you have your Kenner logo, and you flip it over, and again you have these, the sort of uh, the Vintage Collection logo, and here's a look at the original card, which I can give you a better look at in just a moment. Uh, other figures in the wave, uh, which I have reviewed. Yeah, all the, I have all these other figures, so there are reviews on all these figures as well that you can check out, as well as the reviews on the Skywalker. And all the e other Ewoks that have come out over the past year. And uh, the Scout Walker Crew 2-pack. All those. So feel free to check out any of those reviews. And any of these reviews. Uh, you have the Vintage to Collection Description. Which, again, if you'd like to pause. Again, it hasn't really changed in all the years of the Vintage, vintage Description. Vintage Collection, excuse me. So, again, if you'd like to pause the video... And read this. Feel free. Okay. Uh, you have your StarWars.com, Hasbro logos, all that good stuff. Now, as I was saying, a closer look. I brought out my... This is my original vintage low gray figure. Still on the card. I have a loose one as well. And you can see... You'll see a lot of differences between this figure. This one's a lot bigger. 
Uh, the coloring, obviously the sculpt and the articulation is better. The coloring is different, which again, I will be able to compare. Uh, you know, here's the back. You know, Star Wars action figures collect all 79. You know, this at the time you had the cut out the proof of purchases for the free Anakin Skywalker figure. So pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so that's that's the way the card backs used to look. And what if you look look at the vintage card and the vintage the vintage collection card? The image is basically the same image. It's been fixed up and uh, the colors are brighter. So you can see the blue. And here is also blue, but this is just a brighter blue. Plus, this card is about 30 years old now, so uh, that factors in as well. But, you know, I always love giving you the comparisons if I can. Now, on to the figure at hand. Uh, again, very well sculpted and painted in details, and they've, you know, they, Hasbro has the these vintage collection figures almost down to a science. You know, they, they keep putting out just phenomenal figures. Uh, look at the detail on his headdress with this like kind of, I don't know, like a bird head or something, some kind of animal and all kinds of things. So you go down the back and various feathers and things and whatnot. I don't know what some of this is supposed to be, but it's very nicely detailed. Uh, then you have his little medicine man pouch. Again, with all various other feathers and whatnot. And uh, the texture on this, it looks very nice. It's very much like fur. And you can see the detail on his fingernails and the toenails just, just really well. Uh, again, compare this to the older figure. You see the colors are very different. You know, still fairly detailed for the time, but this is just done better. It's just it's just a progression of technology. Look at those eyes. These Ewoks do not blink, unlike the uh, the new Blu-ray uh, version of Return of the Jedi. I'm, one of these days they'll come out with Ewoks that blink, I suppose. Um, but maybe not. Maybe we don't want to see that. But very nice figure. Uh, articulation goes as follows, and, and it's amazing for such a small figure. Ball giant neck, ball hinged shoulders, uh, ball hinged elbows, swivel wrists, swivel waist, ball hinged hips, and ball hinged ankles. So again, the only thing that's missing, uh, swivel at the waist, I want to make sure I mention that. Uh, the only thing that is not articulate is the knees, which again would be very tough to do with a figure this of this size. Now, that, that's phenomenal articulation for a figure of this size. We've seen that in some other Ewoks with the ball with the ball jointed hips, but you don't and, and articulation in elbows, you don't get that all the time. Some have got had those, but not all. It's it's hard to do with a small figure. But so really an amazing job. I can't stress that enough. Just just look at it. It's so great. So, great paint, great articulation, sculpt, whole thing. Uh, he comes with two accessories. You have this regular, more standard kind of Ewok spear, which again, look at very nicely painted, nicely sculpted. You know, it looks like this little tip here it looks like it could be stone you know it's it's plastic obviously this looks like little vines and you know holding on to that it just so nicely done and then you have the more traditional uh accessory that he comes with is his medicine man staff again with all kinds of like bones and feathers and whatnot and things hanging on it you know again much more detailed than than the uh original one was Okay, but looks great. Uh, they fit really well in his hands. 
So he holds both items you know, in his hands very nicely, which is always a plus when it comes to these figures. So we'll just kind of prop these up here. So yeah, there you go. Let's move this out of his face, this cute little Ewok face. So there you have it. There is Low Gray, the Ewok Medicine Man. Uh, definitely a great pickup. I'm very glad I picked this figure up. Um, if you if you like Ewoks, you definitely he's sort of like one of the main Ewoks. It's a it's a character that has, you know, more screen time. You know, Low Gray, Wicked, a couple of elders that have a good amount of screen time. Some Ewoks are on screen for just a, a few moments. So, you know, if you collect Ewoks, this is definitely an Ewok figure that you need. Uh, so there you have it. Again, from the Vintage Collection, the Ewok Medicine Man Low Gray. I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, as usual, comment, rate, subscribe uh, down below. Everything's, everything's, you know, with the new format, Format everything's below. It used to be the subscribe button was above. Now, it's, now everything's below. Uh, so, you know, always appreciate your comments and feedback and views and whatnot. So, yeah. Again... I think I covered everything on this guy. And uh, until next time, may the force be with you.